Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading. We're going to take a look and see what's brewing in your love life. This can certainly resonate for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <laughs> We're going to take a look and yeah, see what's going on in love, romance, and partnership. Sorry about my squeaky door. My dog just exited the room. <laughs> but Sag, um, yeah, let's just jump right in. If you're wanting a personalized tarot reading, of course, do let me know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate your love and support of my channel and what I do. All right. So, Sag, we're going to start off with the biggest challenge you guys could be facing pertaining to your love life, okay? Sag, Sag in love. Clear messages for my Sagittarius. All right, so the biggest challenge for you guys, we have a Ten of Swords and a Six of Wands. I mean, there's something here that may have came to an end, Sagittarius. A Ten of Swords can make you feel, you know, stuck. You may have experienced some kind of ending or betrayal, something that was pretty traumatic. Ten of Swords comes out when you feel blindsided, stabbed in the back, right? Betrayed by someone. And so there could be someone in your life, I'm seeing a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or even a fire sign, like yourself and it feels like you've gone through some kind of really difficult ending something here that you thought you were going to be on the winning end okay six of wands you wanted to win something here win you know this could be winning in terms of succeeding with regard to a relationship okay getting to a certain milestone okay there's something here where you wanted to achieve win um you may have even felt like it was hard to get this person to see you or respect you to be seen in a relationship with the six of wands you could have felt like someone wasn't focused on you okay there could have been some kind of ending because of a distraction or someone not focused on this goal with you and a goal could be like moving toward a relationship right so in a recent passage let's take a look we have the Six of Cups, so this could be someone that you recently reconciled with. We have this Queen of Wands energy, which I do believe is you, and we have the Knight of Cups. So there definitely is a love interest here, so that, you know, Six of Cups and a Knight of Cups. This is a love interest. This is someone that you've been connecting with, and it feels very fiery, you know, Queen of Wands. You could have felt desired. You could have felt like this person was crazy about you. It could have been very exciting, right? You know, this is... Queen of Wands. So this is someone that you wanted. Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups could definitely mean that you have history with this person. You know, you go way back. There's an emotional tie here. This is someone that you wake up and, you know, there's good morning text exchanges. Um, this is definitely loving, friendly, okay, but even more romantic with that Knight of Cups, right? So it does feel like this is a romantic connection, someone that you've been involved with. Maybe they came back recently with the Six of Cups and you reunited. Because there's a love offer here with some kind of reunion, okay? So let's take a look. The current energy is the Ace of Cups in reverse. So it's almost like this, this person that you've been pursuing, it feels to me like there was a recent breakup or breakdown in a connection or someone literally took a step back because we have the Ace of Cups and the Lovers in reverse. Someone made a decision to pull back and say no to a relationship. The Lovers is literally here because someone made a decision to no longer move forward. They made a decision to opt out of this relationship. And so I feel that Sagittarius, this could be like... um. You know, someone you considered your divine masculine, maybe someone here with the emperor, you expected them to do more. I feel like this emperor is telling me that someone needed back control of their life. They needed control back in some regard. Um, and maybe they made that decision because love wasn't on their radar. They weren't, it wasn't important to them. There's something going on where the emperor may have been so fixated and focused on themselves and may have literally forgotten about you, okay, in their connection to you. Now, this emperor could definitely be you, Sagittarius, having to rise up to the occasion, taking back your power and not letting this situation affect you. Definitely could be a Gemini here. Let's take a look at what's in the environment, what you're working with. Knight of Pentacles in a verse, Seven of Pentacles in a verse, the Devil and the Ten of Pentacles. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I feel like there's the energy of someone definitely thinking and reflecting about something they've done behaved the way they've came off and it feels like it wasn't the best reflection on them it's not something that they're proud about 
and they may feel like they poorly invested, okay? Because this is someone here, Sagittarius, who's thinking about the Ten of Pentacles, thinking about maybe money, okay, finances, their resources, they're thinking about something long-term, they're thinking about long-term investments. And there's something here about your person, Sagittarius, not being able to come in and pursue this with you. Maybe because they felt like they were not in a good place. Knight of Pentacles in the verse could suggest that maybe they're not feeling so secure themselves. So think about that, okay? It's almost like they want long-term security, but they may feel they're just not there right yet. And they may feel, however, um, they may feel in some way, Sagittarius, they can't give you that stability and security until they have it themselves, okay? If that makes any sense. The devil is here. There could be a lot of toxic things or negative things they tell themselves, self-limiting thoughts, beliefs that are not true that tends to hold them back, okay? It could be a Capricorn. Now, coming in, we have... The choice card, someone may be having a decision, a choice to make, right? And there could be definitely a big decision that um, is on the table. And it feels like it could be bringing a lot of stress or conflict to someone. We have the king of wands in reverse and a star. Sagittarius, I feel like there's an opportunity here for you to like pull away or pull back. Because your person has that choice and decision to make, not you. And maybe this is the choice that you're making for the betterment of the connection. Pulling away, taking a step back can actually be a good thing because we have the star. We have healing. We have recovery. Um, the star talks about optimism. So it makes me feel like a lot of you have to have faith that by pulling away actually can work wonders for you and this person. It may actually... Um, be a way that you guys can recover from this because it puts more pressure on your person to make a decision and make better choices, okay? So that is what I'm seeing. It feels like you're, you're letting go, you're pulling away, you're taking just a step back to let your person do more and come forward. So let's jump right in. Let's see what else we can find out. We have the Six of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Sag, I do have some sales going on. If you want a personal love reading, I do them video recorded as well as through Etsy message. I should also have a Mother's Day sale coming up as well, okay? So keep on the lookout for that. All right, the challenge is the King of Swords in a verse. Someone just not communicating, right? So the, one of the biggest challenges you're being faced with is someone not being intentional, communicating their needs. You may feel like it's really difficult to get in this person's head to know how they're feeling or thinking. There also could be just, again, miscommunication, okay, causing major blockages in this relationship. And so you want a victory. You both want some kind of victorious outcome, but someone isn't communicating something. And maybe it feels like they just gave up and ended the relationship instead of communicating what they want or why they couldn't move forward, okay? So give me the energy of the recent past. Knight of Cups, Six of Cups. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of wands here. So, you know, there's a lot of... In the past, there was a lot of desire, a lot of like, I'm getting action, motivation, attraction between the both of you. And so you may be feeling dumbfounded or confused with the cups as to why something didn't move forward. Six of Wands in a verse, something has failed. Something here did not get off the ground or wasn't, you weren't able to achieve something with them. Nine of Wands and the Seven of Wands is here. So I definitely feel like in the past also, there was something about your person coming in, you know, this could be you as well. We have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, they're both here, two knights, coming in, pursuing you, wanting this, and you may have felt like, all right, let's do this, let's go all in. Someone may have misled you, that's what the energy is telling me, because it's almost like they're willing to fight for you, they're willing to be there, they're always consistent or they're available, okay, and it feels like, why did, why did something not work? Right? It felt like we, we had everything. We had cups, we had um, feelings, emotions, we had passion, excitement, desire, and then something just didn't play out well. Give me the energy around a seven of wands. Five of wands in reverse and a justice in reverse. Okay, so someone definitely may have done something that you felt was unfair. You may have felt like you were wronged. The justice in reverse could be one-sided or something unbalanced. I mean, the five of wands is here where someone going through something and they weren't speaking about it, right? Five of wands could be some kind of inner fight or inner struggle. It also could talk about some kind of fight or competition with other people, third parties, family, friends. And, you know, someone may have not been treating you the way that you ought to be treated, right? There could be a situation that, again, the justice card could be anything, but it could be feeling like you wronged me, you hurt me, you know, you... <laughs> You disrespected me in front of your family. You know, there's something going on there. Justice card can also be a Libra. There could be a court matter or situation here that um, blindsided you or you didn't see coming. Now, give me the current energy. We have the Hierophant in reverse, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Cups in reverse. 
So, you know, I, I do feel like there's a situation of um, someone not being ready for a commitment or wanting to take on a responsibility of a commitment. And that could be something you're, you're finding out more about. There could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius who communicates something to you. You could be finding out some information from a feminine energy or, a, again, Queen of Swords. Uh, it could be an air sign, all right? There's also an apology that someone may be wanting to extend, okay? Maybe regarding their inability to commit. And maybe there is a literally someone wanting to reach out but having a difficult time in doing so now the emperor is here the empress is here as well is someone pregnant right is there a family home that's being affected giving more information and the queen of cups is here there's other people for sure there's other feminine energies that are around you and your person sagittarius so again it makes me feel like there may have been some kind of interference and maybe someone said no to the connection solely because there was other people involved they were not focused right ten of swords something ended and it feels like it was heavy difficult could have felt like there was a betrayal or someone blindsided you, backstabbed you. There's something going on and it could be because of other people being involved, okay? Let's take a look. The Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Emperor in reverse. So I definitely feel like your person's kind of like in a doghouse here. I mean, I'm seeing the energy of like, I want to reconcile. I want to talk to you about this Sagittarius. Um, and they know that in order to have some kind of reconciliation or reunion, they're going to have to get something together. Six of Pentacles, they're going to have to bring some kind of reciprocity, balance, fairness. They're going to have to do a little bit more because they've been thinking Seven of Pentacles in verse and they have not invested properly. They have not been taking action that is necessary to move this forward and bring stability. And so I think that they're well aware of that because the Emperor in a verse and the Devil is suggesting that there is definitely some toxic traits or their way of thinking that has gotten a way of them from behaving in a certain way or taking action, okay, with you and them. So the devil can be codependent, can be, again, addiction, self-limiting thoughts, beliefs. It could be fear, okay, or non-commitment even. Six of Pentacles, I wanted to bring reciprocity. So this could be definitely your person saying, let me do more. You've done so much. I want to now come forward and do my part. Give me the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. So they definitely see the Ten of Cups with you. Um, they see stability, security with the Ten of Pentacles long term. They're wanting to be happy with you. They see harmony with you. But there's some burdens here. So all these tens coming out is telling me that they're reaching a breaking point in their life. They're reaching some kind of ending or culmination where it's like, if I want that um, love, that kind of love that Sagittarius gave to me, if I want that security and knowing that I'm loved, I'm cared for, support it emotionally i'm gonna have to overcome some kind of really difficult ending ten of wands some kind of big burden that maybe i've caused and so that could be something your person is working on overcoming i do feel like you have a role in this sagittarius because it is requiring you to kind of take a step back and letting this person come forward make better decisions and choices right yeah five of swords and that could be something difficult for you that could be something here where it's like, no, I want to show this person I care. I want to show them that I haven't given up on them. But it feels like it's necessary, literally necessary for you to kind of take a step back and let this person come forward um, in order for things to work out with the star for recovery, for healing. Yeah, someone has to step up. And the King of Pentacles confirms that, you know, it's your person. I don't think this is you. Okay, King of Wands is your energy, perhaps, but the King of Pentacles makes you feel like someone is going to evolve and mature. And maybe taking a step back, Sagittarius is going to allow this person to recognize that I got to do a whole lot more. I got to come in and I got to come in correctly. I got to solidify the ground. I got to build this foundation. And the King of Pentacles is able to do that. So the star is being hopeful, having faith that something will work out, even if it's not happening right now, even if it feels like it's a little slow, um, there could be something your person has to work on, Knight of Pentacles, before they can make that decision and choice to come in with the star to correct this connection, course correct, recover, and heal, right? So this could be an Aquarius too. That is what I'm seeing, Sag. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have a beautiful week and take care.